Hi, my name is Felipe Jimenez. I'm an associate attorney at Ready Newman Brown. Um, I work in the non-immigrant visa department. I've been working in this position for over um, five years now, and I'm experienced in non-immigrant visas. And today we're discussing an important topic for non-immigrant visa holders in the U.S., the 60 days grace period. If your employment ends or a quality event occurs, such as being laid off, you have up to 60 days to find a new employment, change your visa status, or prepare to leave the country. So let's dive into what you should and you shouldn't do during this crucial time. So the 60 days grace period was introduced by UCIS to help non-immigrant visa holders adjust their circumstances without immediately falling out of status. It starts the day after your employment ends and lasts up to 60 consecutive days or until your I-94 expires, whichever comes first. So let's talk about the do's. What you should do? Well, seek new employment. Focus on securing new employment. Your new employer must file a petition visa before the angry period ends. You can also do a change of status. You can change your visa status to either F1 visa student, a B2, or an H4 dependent visa if your spouse has an H1B. So you can also prepare to depart. If you can find a job, or change your status, please make sure to arrange your departure to, uh, of the U.S. Um, before the 60 days um, ends. So another thing it's very important is to consult with a, an experienced business immigration attorney. Navigating immigration law can be complex, so consulting with an attorney can clarify your options and help, your stay, help you stay compliant. So what are the don'ts? pitfalls to avoid during the grace period. So do not delay action. Time is critical. Start job hunting, filing for status changes, or making departure plans immediately. So do not violate your visa conditions. Avoid unauthorized work or activities. Always consult with an immigration attorney before engaging in any new activities while you are in your new status. Also, during this time of the 60 grace period, do not travel outside of the U.S. If you travel outside the U.S., you can no longer re-enter on the same uh, visa status. So some people might think, I'm under 60 days grace period, I can still travel out and come back, but that that's not true. Also, you can get in serious troubles at the port of entry if you come back to the U.S. while you're in your 60 days grace period or thinking you're still in your 60 days grace period. So the 60 days grace period offers a critical window to secure new employment, change visa status, or prepare for departure. However, navigating this period requires prompt and informed action. So by following these do's and don'ts and seeking professional advice when necessary, you can effectively manage this transition period and continue to pursue your goals in the United States. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have further questions or would you like um, help or assistance in changing your status um, file an application or just want more information please um, you can make a consultation by following the link down below in the in the video description um, and um, we'll be happy to help